Hey guys and dolls, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you're an oldie moldy, welcome back. Lady messed up my hair a little bit, but that's okay. I'm gonna do a, I haven't done this in a long time, a makeup haul. It's, one thing is from Sephora and the other stuff is from Ulta. And I splurged, I really did. I got a lot of stuff and I'm super excited for it because now that I have to actually be in front of people and, you know, work, sometimes I have to work eight hour shifts, not often, but sometimes knocking on wood. Um, I like those shifts because I make uh, a better paycheck. <laughs> so I love to wear lipstick, but when I'm working, I need to have a lipstick that's going to last a long time. And my KVD Beauty, that lipstick is very drying. KVD is Kat Von D. They changed the name to KVD. She no longer owns the company, but that lipstick is just very drying. And after three days of working and wearing that lipstick, it just sucked the moisture out of my lips. And so somebody recommended the Dior Rouge, Dior Rouge Forever lipstick. It's supposed to be transfer proof, which it is. And it's supposed to be a little bit more moisturizing. Um, and I got it in the color Forever Nude Touch. I don't, I don't really like it. It's on my lips right now. I don't know if you could see it, but it's on my lips right now. And it does, it has kind of like a powdery scent. And it looks like this. It's, I'm wearing it right now. The color is not really for me. It's, and it's a little drying, so it does what it's supposed to do, but it still feels not as moisturizing as I was led to believe, but I'm okay with that. I had to try it, and of course, I'm going to use it and wear it, use it and abuse it, as I like to say, so I probably spent, oh god, I don't know how much I spent. You don't need to know. You don't need to know, <laughs> but I will be saving these for fetch. So the thing that I went to Ulta for, because I couldn't find it, I couldn't find a lightweight hairspray. I'm tired of using the very heavy hairsprays by Pantene. I have a Pantene one, and I also had an Herbal Essence one. And I wanted something a little, not too expensive, but not too cheap. So I couldn't find one at Target, couldn't find one at Rite Aid, couldn't find one at Walmart. So I went with this brand called... Eva NYC, I don't know. It's style setting, flexible, workable, shape shifter, powered by plant and protein, no sulfates, parabens, or phthalates. I don't know. And so I just decided to get this because it says it's a non-sticky workable hold to lock in styles while adding a glossy finish to hair. Most hairspray leaves hair in a tangled mess, but this innovative formula allows for easy restyling. So I got this one. It smells really, really good. I like it a lot. It's got argan oil in it. And I just need a little bit just right here and kind of brush through and then just in here just to kind of give it a little bit of, um, I, want it, I want it to stay in place, but without gluing it to my head. I still want that flexibility, but I just need it here and I need it here sometimes for the flyaways. So that's what I got. And then it's not a big haul. But it's a mighty haul because I was checking out and the girl told me that that I got the MAC Locked Kiss Ink 24-hour lip color transfer proof lippy. And this does not look like the color of the box is so different than what is actual. So I don't know if this is going to be drying. I think it's going to, I hope it's a little bit it says Locked Kiss Ink. So I'm really excited to try this. And it just looks like this and it's MAC. Um, I use whatever makeup, you know, girls at Sephora tell me. So, um, you know what? We are going to swatch this. But before I swatch this, I'm going to do something because, oh, you know what? I'll just swatch it and I can take it off later. I usually don't swatch because it's just messy. So um, I'm going to kind of shake it up a little bit. And then I think this is in Mischief. And it looks completely different than... And that's the color. That's a beautiful color. 
that is a stunning color and yeah i'm gonna see how it dries down on my hands so i'm gonna let it sit there for a minute and i think it's really pretty and i hope that it i hope it doesn't like i hope it isn't as drying as some of the other lippies that i have but i did get another one because she said that this one works really well and it worked when she had like a six hour shift and like i said i had eight hour shifts and this one is unbreakable liquid lip color and she said it lasts a really long time it says shake 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 for five seconds before an apply don't worry it's worth the workout does not contain animal anything and unrestrained wear transfer smudge and water resistant for the free rebellious and fun unbreakable color and this is in back talk the names that they give these so we're just going to open this bad boy up we're gonna oh we're gonna shake this one two three four five how long did it say to do that five seconds one two three four five okay i'm gonna undo this and we're going to swatch it oh it's right there it feels good so notice the colors are very similar because i like similar colors this one has a little bit more of a pink tinge this one has more of like a yeah so this is the urban decay one right here Ooh, that's pretty Ooh, that's really pretty i really like that i want to see how they dry down does this one have a scent it smells good it smells just like a liquid lipstick let's see if this one has a scent the dior one has a very slight scent um i think this is the one that mm, yeah i love the mac the mac smells like vanilla but we just want to kind of see how this is going to lay down on my hands. And um, I'm kind of excited for these. So these are like going to be my work lippies. And uh, hopefully I won't have such dried out lips. I'm going to try this one though for my next shift. My next shift isn't that long, but I am curious to see how well it'll hold up. And then I'm going to show you something else. So this is stuff that I needed for work. And I got the Pop-Tarts Too Faced. One is frosted strawberry, one is brown sugar. Oh, I'm so excited for these. I love Too Faced. If you know, you know. I'm a Too Faced girl. If you've been with me for a while, you know. So, smells like brown sugar, cinnamon pop tart, bite size eyeshadow palette. I love these. These are the only ones that I buy now because I just love the size and they're so easy to stack and keep in my makeup container. I have a whole bunch of these little tiny ones. So these are always my favorite. And it's Pop-Tarts. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at how cute this is. Just like a little. It's a very faint. Whenever they say that they smell like something, they never really do. So it has um, the cover over it. I have so many colors like this, but it's Pop-Tarts. The ones that I have don't have as many shimmeries. Um, so I like the fact that this one has like a brown sugar cinnamon i get toasted i like the fact that it has the shimmery goodness in here can i take this off i don't want to there we go so i really like that let's see what this looks like Ooh, ooh. you can't really tell but it is very very shimmery very very pretty i'm Super excited for this. I love that they have the mirror. A little disappointed that they went to a cardboard container rather than a metal because I love the little metal ones, but this is still cute. Pop-Tarts label. And does it really smell? Very, very faint. Hardly anything at all. And now for the piece de resistance. Smells like a frosted strawberry pop tart. And these colors um, aren't something that I typically wear all of the time, but I do like Oh, this is so cute. I don't typically wear a lot of these these types of colors because these are more of um pink tones, but I do like them. And I think it'd be fun to wear like this color per se and then add this color on top of it, just a little dab. Oh my god, and they're so freaking pigmented. They're so freaking pigmented. Like I don't know if you could see that, but it's really pigmented. 
Oh, and this has a very light, light strawberry scent. I love this. I haven't bought makeup in so long, and I know a lot of my makeup videos don't do well, but this is right, over, right around the toy mark. I mean, it's frosted strawberry Pop-Tarts. Come on now. That is so stinking cute. I love these. And I think these retail for like around $27 each, which is less than, I'm not sure how much they were. So these were 24 and they are cheaper than buying the big one, which is like 50. So I got both of these for 24, which I think is so fun and so cute. And I'm, I don't regret this. I don't regret this at all. So anywho, any hey, that is my Alta haul for today. I absolutely am super excited to wear some of these new lippies, try them out, see how they go for work. Um, Cause I like wearing makeup. I like, I will tell you the honest truth. I didn't really start wearing makeup until I was my late twenties, thirties. I did not start wearing makeup until I was like in my thirties, like 29, 30, because I didn't need it. Um, now I need it because I have a little bit of redness, a little bit of discoloration, um, just uneven skin tone. I love playing with makeup and it's something that I got into later in life. But yeah. Oh, this one feels dry. This one feels sticky. Okay, let me do something. Oh, and they don't transfer. They don't transfer. Okay, that one transferred a little bit because it's still wet. That one didn't transfer at all. So I'm doing this one. This is the MAC. No transfer. And this is the Urban Decay. Slight transfer and a little sticky. I'm excited for this. So... I will talk to you guys later. Hit that like button, subscribe, jump on the friendship bandwagon, and I will see you guys in the next one. And um, yeah, I think this one is not going to be my favorite, but I can make it work. I can always put a gloss over this and make it feel a little bit more luxurious. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.